In the dark abyss off Australia's shores, lie colossal volcanoes that few people realise exist. One dramatic example is the Muirfield Seamount, a submerged mountain over 65 kilometres wide at its base and rising from a 4,000 metre deep seafloor to just 16 metres below the ocean's surface. Invisible to passing ships, this undersea giant lurked undetected until 1973 when a cargo ship MV Muirfield violently struck its summit, thinking it was in open water 5 kilometres deep. The unexpected encounter damaged the ship and revealed a hidden volcanic edifice that would later be mapped in detail. Decades after this accident, scientists aboard modern research vessels have begun systematically charting such hidden volcanoes, uncovering even deeper and more ancient submarine peaks that populate Australia's marine territory. These recent discoveries paint a vivid picture of Australia's underwater volcanoes, some of the deepest and most remote on the planet and shed light on the dynamic geological forces that shape the region. One of the most astonishing finds in recent years was the discovery of a cluster of underwater volcanoes nearly 5 kilometres beneath the surface of the Tasman Sea. In 2015, scientists aboard Australia's research vessel, RV Investigator, were surveying ocean currents and larval lobster nurseries about 250 kilometres off the coast of Sydney when their sonar scans revealed something unexpected. As the multi-beam sonar swept the seafloor, a chain of four towering volcanic structures emerged from what was once thought to be a flat abyssal plain. My jaw just dropped, recalled marine scientist Ian Southers, whose team hadn't set out to find volcanoes at all. Yet there they were. Four large submarine volcanic calderas, with the largest caldera about 1.5 kilometres across and rising 700 metres above the surrounding seafloor. Even with that immense relief, the highest point of this volcanic cluster still sits roughly 4,300 metres below sea level, making it the deepest known volcanic complex in Australian waters. The entire cluster stretches about 20 kilometres, truly a hidden world far beyond the reach of sunlight. This lost world of underwater volcanoes off New South Wales remained unseen until modern sonar made it visible. All four volcanoes in the cluster are calderas, Bowl-shaped craters formed when ancient volcanoes erupted catastrophically and collapsed inward. Scientists estimate these submarine volcanoes are about 50 million years old, relics from a very different geologic time. The unexpected find underscored how little we know about the seafloor. Prior maps had shown nothing but featureless abyssal plain in that region. The discovery not only revealed dramatic undersea topography, but also provided an intriguing clue to Australia's geologic past. Geologists believe this deep volcanic cluster formed during the rifting of the supercontinent Gondwana, likely linked to the tectonic forces that separated Australia from New Zealand tens of millions of years ago. The existence of these volcanoes supports theories of plate movements, their formation perhaps marking a hotspot or stress point when the Tasman Sea was opening and Zealandia, the continental fragment including New Zealand, was pulling away from Australia. The deepest underwater volcanoes in Australian territory owe their origin to plate tectonics and hotspot volcanism. Australia's plate has not one simple story, but several chapters of breakup and drift. Further south, another chain of undersea volcanoes was mapped in 2018 off the east coast of Tasmania, also at abyssal depths. Rising up to 3 kilometres from the seafloor, which lies about 5 kilometres down, these seamounts nearly reach 2 kilometres below the ocean surface. Geologically, they appear to mark a hotspot track from around 30 million years ago. A mantle hotspot may have punched through the crust, building volcanoes and helping to fracture the plates. Their varied shapes, some with sharp cones, others with broad flat plateaus, tell of different eruption styles and erosional history. Together with the Sydney Cluster, they illustrate how plate breakup can leave behind trails of volcanoes, marking the path of separation. In the Indian Ocean, to the southwest of Indonesia, lie huge submerged volcanoes associated with hotspots and plate motions. The Muirfield Seamount near Cocos, Keeling Islands, for example, is part of a submerged volcanic chain on the edge of Australia's plate. This structure likely formed as the Indo-Australian plate drifted over a stationary magma source, or a hotspot, analogous to how the Hawaiian Islands formed. Likewise, farther east in the Pacific, long lines of seamounts, such as the Lord Howe Rise and Tasman Tid Seamount chain, were built by hotspots beneath moving plates, creating linear traces of extinct volcanoes that now dot the Coral Sea and Tasman Sea. These hotspot traces and rift-related volcanoes effectively populate Australia's marine realm with hundreds of seamounts, 
From relatively shallow ones a kilometre beneath the waves, to the deepest examples 4-5 to five kilometres down. The discovery of deep submarine volcanoes often reveals not just geology, but also unexpected oases of marine life. Far from being barren, these seamounts form hard, elevated habitats that attract a host of organisms in the otherwise flat deep ocean. When a chain of Tasmanian seamounts was mapped in 2018, researchers found the area teeming with life. Large numbers of marine life in the area, with more than 28 humpback whales and up to 80 long-finned pilot whales congregating above the volcanic peaks. The seamounts disrupt the flow of ocean currents, causing nutrient-rich deep waters to upwell toward the surface. This supports blooms of plankton and small fish, which in turn draw predators like whales, seabirds and larger fish. Observations confirmed a remarkable diversity of seabirds and marine mammals far offshore, using the seamount chain as an undersea feeding ground. Importantly, these undersea volcano chains sometimes align to form stepping stones for species dispersal. Scientists imagine horizontal highways of life connecting one seamount to the next across the ocean depths. Just as land mountain ranges can guide migratory animals, submarine ridges and volcanoes may channel the movement of deep sea species and even influence routes of migrating whales. For example, the cluster of Sydney, though deep, was hypothesised to serve as an underwater navigational hub for marine life in the Tasman Sea. The team noticed a giant pod of 60 to 80 pilot whales lingering in the area, as well as four species of albatross and petrel soaring above. These observations support the idea that seamounts are biological hotspots year-round, aggregating life in an otherwise sparsely populated ocean desert. The scientific importance of discovering and studying Australia's deepest underwater volcanoes cannot be overstated. For geologists, each seamount is a story written in rock, preserving information about Earth's interior and past tectonic events. Sampling the rocks from these submarine volcanoes allows researchers to determine their age and chemical composition, which in turn reveals mantle processes and plate movements. These submarine volcanoes thus fill crucial gaps in the geologic puzzle of Gondwana's breakup and the evolution of the Australian plate. Exploring the deepest underwater volcanoes captures the public's imagination and underscores how much of the Earth remains unexplored. It is often said that we know more about the surface of the Moon than the floor of the ocean, and these Australian discoveries drive that point home. Each expedition with Investigator is essentially a voyage of discovery. Scientists mapping vast swaths of seafloor for the first time, often finding new features every day. Every underwater volcano discovered expands our understanding of Earth's geology from reconstructing ancient supercontinents to appreciating the resilience of life in extreme environments. Australia's deepest volcanoes, hidden 4 to 5 kilometres beneath the sea, have transitioned from obscurity to scientific treasure in the span of a few years. Yet they are just the tip of the iceberg. Tens of thousands more seamounts likely remained unmapped worldwide. As exploration continues, these giants of the deep will continue to provide invaluable insights into our planet's past and present. The story of the deepest underwater volcano in Australian territory is thus part of a larger narrative, one of a planet still revealing its secrets, and of scientists equipped with new tools eager to read the dramatic geology written on the ocean floor. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.